Okay, developers, welcome back. Today's sponsor, Consensus Software Inc., want us to check out their newly released Truffle for VS Code extension. Most of us already know the tools from Truffle Suite by now. They've helped us create, build, debug, and deploy to EVM blockchains for ages. We've already covered Ganache version 7 and Truffle dashboard that lets us sign transactions using MetaMask. This new extension has everything we need, including a brand new interactive debugger and integration with Infura's API so we can deploy our contracts without leaving VS Code. If you're new here, I'm Calvin Tora, and on Eat the Blocks, we help Web2 developers transition into Web3. So let's go through the docs and see if we can get something going. We can either get the extension from the Marketplace website or through the VS Code extensions tab. Let's do it through VS Code. Now, in the past, we would use truffle init from the command line, but with this new extension, we're able to use the command palette inside VS Code. So let's do command shift P and see what we've got. There's also a few new shortcuts we can use from the same command palette, things like debugging and connecting to a network. As you can see, we've got a few options here. Let's try out new Solidity project. We can choose an empty folder, name it and go. It looks like we need to install some dependencies to make this work, so download them now if you don't already have them. So once that's finished, we get a new project with some boilerplate code to play with. Apparently, we can now build our contracts with a click of a button, so let's see what happens. We just right click on a .sol file, and we have a few new options. I think it would make sense if we build our contracts first, so let's go with that. Okay, so that's done. We now have a compiled contract. And if we look in the build directory, it seems like we have all of the usual metadata that we need. Now let's go back to the context menu and choose deploy contracts this time. We can see from the dropdown that we have a single entry called development. Clicking on that starts up Ganache, the local blockchain simulator, behind the scenes, and it's going to use the default config for the project as the target. If we open up our VS Code terminal and then select Truffle for VS Code, we can see that our contracts have been deployed to our local network with all of the details we need. Now, if you need to, you can also configure Ganache from VS Code as well. Let's say we want to choose a port other than 8545. We could do that down here with create a new network. We'll choose Ganache service, give it a new name so that we can find it later on, and then choose a port number for our new local network. Now let's check out the Infura API integration. If you're not already familiar with Infura, it just provides a bunch of tools that lets you deploy contracts to the Ethereum mainnet or testnet. With our new extension, we can now leverage Infura inside VS Code. Down here, we can choose create a new network, choose the Infura service, and then sign in. If you don't already have an account, it doesn't take more than two minutes to create a new one. It looks like here we get a authorization confirmation to connect Infura with our extension. Once that's done, we should be able to head back over to VS Code and be ready to go. Okay, here we have a prompt to enter a project name. We'll call this Infura Test because I'm just that creative. We can also choose to be public or private. So now, down at the bottom, we can see our new project is ready to be used with all the different endpoints that Infura provides. It shows all of the test nets and the main net. Now looking at the debugger, let's say I'm going to be using this default NFT contract. I'm going to deploy this contract to the development network using the context menu. And now once that has succeeded, we can start looking at the debugger. We can run the command palette debug transaction and then look through the transactions that have just taken place. We can see mytoken.constructor and we can go into that one. 
Now, once everything is ready to go, we can see we've got all of the variables on the top left here, and we can see what happens to those as the contract moves through every function. We can also use the watch panel to track specific variables as we move through our contract. We are gonna use step over. We can then use step into to see what's actually happening behind the scenes with our constructor. Now we can replay all of the steps on our contract. Now in the watch panel, I can type in the name of a variable and see how it changes while the contract is moving through its functions. Now here I am watching the name variable. I wanna see what happens as we move through the code. And here we can see the value of name is changing. Let's check out the symbol. It's currently unavailable until we get to that point of the code. So we just step through. And there we go. We can now see our symbol has been updated as we move through the constructor. Now at the top here, you can see this is not actually the contract that we created. This is not my NFT contract. These are the open Zeppelin contracts that I imported. So we can see what's actually happening with all of these imports, how our code and values are moving through different contracts. And this is actually really insightful for me to see what's happening behind the scenes in all of these open Zeppelin functions. Let's track a few more variables and see how they change. Let's choose new owner, old owner, and owner. And you can see as we step through this transfer ownership function, these values are updating. In my humble opinion, this is definitely the best part of the new extension. And by stepping through the code like this, I'm able to get a deeper understanding of what's actually happening and how my contract needs to use all of these different functions and update variables so that I can get it deployed. Looking at their GitHub documentation, I think the debugger is still in beta, so we can expect them to be fixing problems as we find them. I don't imagine any bugs would last long with this team. The team over at Consensus and Truffle Suite just keep raising the bar on developer tooling. If I'm honest, I am pretty bad at navigating the command line. I started my dev life inside VS Code, and the more I can do without leaving that environment, the better. We'll leave a link in the description below so you can go and check out this new extension. And if you're new in this space, count yourself lucky, because with tools like this, the barrier to entry is just getting lower and lower. That's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching and keep those private keys safe.